Hey everybody, I'm Jim. This is my wood shop. Uh, you can find me online or on the web. Just uh, go to Google and go, I found Jim. Type that into the Google search bar and you'll find me. I'm number one out there. Anyway, uh, you can also find me at jimthepilot.com. I'm a pilot also. I'm a rustic furniture maker, rustic furniture artist. I'm a woodworker. And I'm, today I'm going to show you how to use a radial arm saw to do a certain operation. And what I've got is a, is a rough sawn piece of wood here. And uh, this is a piece of maple I do believe that I got from somebody and it's uh, crooked as you can see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one straight edge out of this thing. If I point this board down the line to you, you're going to see that it's not necessarily straight. So I want one clean straight edge. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now using the radial arm saw. Some people will use a joiner, but I don't have a joiner. And so this is how I, if I'm going to make a tabletop and join a bunch of boards together, you need all true lines, uh, true straight edges on all your boards. So this is how you start off with a crooked board and get one true. So what you have to have for the radial arm saw to do this is you have to have the back guide right here has got to be perfectly straight. So that means that the saw that the board will run completely straight. And if I show you over here, you can pretty much see that the board doesn't always necessarily touch all the way down the line there. Uh, well, it's a tough deal to show you right here. Let me do it this way here. I got my tripod set up here. But you can see that there's a, some discrepancy in back in here, see? Now the board is hitting down here at this point, okay? And then it's hitting at the very end all the way down there. You can't see it really that well, but well, there we go. Now you can see it's hitting the other way. So you have to actually have it so your board cups like this against the fence. That's the way you want the cup to work or else it isn't going to work properly. Okay, so that's what I do to start with. I make sure that that cup, I make sure that the bow of the board bows like this against the fence. You can't go like this because then the board, the board rocks. Okay, that means the bow is going like this along the fence. You can't do that. You actually have to go like that. See, the board won't rock that way. Okay, so now we've got that figured out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this up just a little bit better here. And then, well, I'll get to bring it over here. What you have to do is you have to set your saw up, your radial arm saw, so that it's going to be in the rip position. And what you have to do is you have to raise the, raise the carriage, loosen this, Pull that over, lock that into place, lock the head back into place again just like that, okay? You have to do that. Can you see me okay? Okay. Now, we'll lower the guide, or the carriage back down, and it's got, the table's got a groove already into it, because I've done a bunch of ripping this way. And then, I'm going to bring this over here. And my first cut's going to be right along this edge right here, okay? So then we lock this into place, all right? And then I'm going to come here, and I'm going to lower this guy right here. This is, you know, going to make it so the sawdust doesn't go flying up into my face, okay? So that's set. Everything's locked on the machine, okay? My first cut's going to be just about right there. I might actually move around just a little bit because I like to save as much board as I possibly can. So we're going to go right about there, okay? And then, the other real important thing to do with this operation of ripping is you've got to have a dust mask on. Here's my dust mask. And then I always wear a pair of gloves, and I've got a vacuum system, which I'm going to turn on also. Generally, what I like is to have was a push stick also. And you gotta have a pair of headsets. Now make sure that your board stays flat. If, it's, if your board is cut a little bit when it's sitting on the table, you have to make sure that it always stays in the same position, flat. Well, there you go. I've got my one true edge. 
I do to make the other edge, I just flip it around and move the saw carriage in just a little bit. Sometimes I use a push stick, other times I don't because sometimes a push stick doesn't give you enough downward pressure on the board and the uh, saw blade will chatter and uh, it just doesn't work as effectively. Just make sure whenever your hand's in front of the blade that you're very careful. This is not to be, I don't recommend this to a beginner. I don't even recommend it to anybody. This is how I do stuff. It's not, uh, I'm not teaching you how to do something that you should do. This is how I do stuff. So just be aware of that. And uh, that's how I make a straight edge on a board. Thanks for watching.